let us tie it together with an example because that is the best way to do it. Uh, example is actually a continuation of the previous example. We had a channel with 3 SNRs, we go back to the same channel. It has a SNR of 0.833 with a probability f gamma of gamma 1 being 0.1 and SNR gamma 2 being 83.33. 83.33, f gamma of gamma 2 is equal to 0 0.5, gamma 3 is 200, uh, 333, 333.33, 333 f gamma of gamma 3 is 0 0.4, we have already computed their capacities, that now that right now that is not the task before us. I want to apply the concept of water filling water filling. Okay. So, the concept of water filling uh, uh, basically says that uh, some SNRs I would like to exclude. So, looking through this, this looks like a, a bad SNR. So, maybe I want to exclude this. So, what we are saying is can I do water filling for the remaining 2 channel conditions. So, I equal to 2 to 3 1 over gamma naught minus 1 over gamma i f gamma of gamma i can we set it equal to 1. Gamma i is fixed, f of gamma is fixed, only thing that is variable is gamma naught, this is exactly what we need to find out because that is the water filling level. So, water filling is coming into the play by saying how do you do the power allocation such that uh, basically this is power allocation because th th what we are doing here is nothing but p of gamma j divided by p bar okay i'm from the uh, previous thing. so basically we have to solve this equation to get the value of gamma naught so it's a numerical uh, exercise so we calculate gamma naught is equal to 0.89 okay that means your water filling level is at 0.89 now, is it higher than the uh, uh, SNR state that we are trying to exclude? Yes, the SNR state that we are trying to exclude is 0 0.83. So, that, that SNR state got left out. So, if you look at the water filling, this gamma naught is 0 0.89, 0 0.83 will fall to the left. So, that is excluded. Basically, the water filling happens in the rest of the portion. So, what exactly is the computation that, uh, that, uh, that we have to do? Uh, so now let us look at the expression for the, uh, the capacity. Capacity expression is B log of log base 2 of 1 plus gamma P uh, uh, gamma, uh, gamma J P gamma J by B P bar uh, into uh, this would be some uh, summation over j f gamma of gamma j right that is what we are we are trying to do so basically uh, this portion of the, of pj by p bar if i if i substitute the expression uh, expression for it which is so i use the following p of gamma j by p bar is given by 1 over gamma naught minus 1 over gamma j with a plus sign. If I use that, basically there are two states which will, so this will simplify to summation i equal to 2 to 3 b times logarithm base 2. Uh, if you notice when I substitute for this equation, uh, there will be a minus 1 which will come. So, basically the 1 and minus 1 will cancel uh, leaving us with the following expression gamma j gamma i divided by gamma naught into f gamma of gamma i. Okay, so, that is the uh, expression that we have for the capacity. Uh, uh, please do substitute the different levels that we have. All of the uh, quantities are known. Gamma i is known, gamma naught is known, the probabilities are known, the bandwidth is known. You can uh, do the computation. This comes out to be 200.8 to kbps via water filling via water filling okay 
where did the, where did the uh, additional gain come from? Because you boosted gamma i by gamma naught, you divided it by gamma naught, and gamma naught is less than one. So that's effectively like boosting gamma i. That's what you did. Rather than uh, transmitting power also at in the gamma one state, you excluded the SNR one state, and then you ad boosted the power. And you made sure, and uh, we have also made sure that in the process we did not end up transmitting more power than than uh, allowed because that that is also a constraint that we have to satisfy. Now compare this with the case. If you did not do water filling and you had only CSIR, what was the throughput that you could achieve? 191.94 if you had CSIT, but if you otherwise what would you, what would you, you will be basically will have outage which would mean that you, you would be transmitting at around 172.75 I think. Okay, so uh, CSIR with outage, the capacity or the throughput that we would have achieved uh, is around 172.75. I think just verify that kbps. Okay, so uh, it, because it's a sort of a, cons a constructed example, uh, we know maybe the gain is not that dramatic. But usually, what we find is that water filling is a very very uh, uh, good strategy. It actually uh, causes a significant advantage. The other advantage is you did not waste time transmitting power when the channel condition was bad. Whereas in the case of the CSIR, you actually did end up transmitting uh, power during uh, times when it was not so, the channel conditions were not so good as well.